Hi everybody, here's some new updates for the Final Cut Pro X. First of all, same buttons, different places. So what I want to do is draw your attention right up here to the left corner. And you'll see they've moved the Universal Import button. It's right here now. You hit on that and it will open up the traditional window that we go over in our class. We talk about copy to library, leave files in place. Um, the only thing they've changed is some roles for audio where you can actually assign a role to different types of audio narration sound effects voiceover and so they'll be color coded and help you create separate tracks actually later except the tracks are called roles this is the only new part and I'm gonna close it right now hit the left button and the keywords have been moved up top here same as before I for in O for out and your keyword this I really like they've taken this from the drop-down menu this is the background tasks and moved it up top here I like it because it tells me how long things are rendering transcoding I use it a lot for rendering just to let me know how long it'll be till my files are crunched so I can upload them so new place for import keywords and a new place to see how things are cooking in the background of Final Cut Pro. Up here, simply they've moved the photos from down here on the right side up to the left, and they'll search out all the different uh, photographs and music uh, on your iTunes. Uh, this is where the new text and background generators are located up in the left hand corner same deal as before nothing has changed just the location of the buttons so don't freak out uh, if you need to find your library and your clips it's this clapper here here's your library smart collections for keywords and of course your event and I haven't imported anything in there and the import media here is still over here uh, scrolling down here, they've added one more button. Of course, at DV Workshops, we don't press buttons. We use keyboard shortcuts. Uh, in our courses, we talk about the letter D for overwrite. They've added an overwrite button here, and it'll overwrite anything uh, to the right of your playhead in the storyline. Cool. The tools are all the same. The right here, just kind of uh, less 3D, more of a flat uh, impact. Uh, this I really like. This tells you the durations of clips you're working on. I really like that. Instead of having to hit Control D, whatever you're clicked on, it'll tell you how long that is. This is the Universal Time Code reader. reader. <laughs> Same as before, it tells you where you are down here in your um, edit, your project, or where you are up here if you've clicked on a clip. You can still search and hunt for numbers. They've moved uh, the read time button, which is the slow-mo stuff, right up here to the left. They moved it from down here, up here. Uh, the Harry Potter button, what I call the Harry Potter button, which is for uh, your color board. I use it a lot to adjust highlights and exposure. They've moved that here. And then we have, uh, what you can see right next to that, uh, is um, the ability to transform or crop. And we use transform along with, remember, keyframes to zoom in on something, or you can crop things out. So crop and transform, kind of still where it is, just lowered it a little bit. Harry Potter button, this is for uh, color grading, uh, adjusting the light and color, and then of course this is slow-mo. Same buttons, just different place. Don't worry, I freaked out first when I saw it, and now I'm all good with it. It's actually better once you get used to it. All these buttons are at the same place. Uh, we know um, uh, snapping, uh, skimming, turning audio skimming on and off, soloing, and then right here, which is kind of cool, it allows you to adjust the clips, height, and uh, zoom in and out of the timeline. That used to be down here on the, down here, not in the trash, but down here, and they've moved it up here. Uh, now on the right hand side here, uh, just clicking once, this is gonna show your effects. To close the effects, just click it again, it's that easy. And then transitions is right here, and just once click it, click it off, okay? Go full screen, boom, right there, will allow you to go full screen, all right? And then we have the new projects. Um, up here, let's take a look at what we got up here. This is going to allow us to do a couple of things. Uh, to change the height of clips in your browser, to search for things in your browser. All good over there. Cool. Uh, up here, there's some new stuff that I'm going to go over very quickly here. The share button. Very important. This is when you've completed your piece and you want to send it to YouTube or make a uh, H264. That's going to happen right up here now on the upper right side. It used to be down here on the right. So that's the share button. Cool. 
Uh, this is the inspector. Remember, it turns it on and on. Inspector allows us to manipulate any clip, one-stop shopping, inspector right there. And if you're inspecting stuff, this allows you to kind of drag the inspector down the whole way. So you can look, if you're familiar with the inspector, you can really used to have to do a lot of scrolling. Now you hit that, you see everything in the inspector, boom, hit it again, back to your normal. And this is different layouts. Um, uh, for you to choose from. You can choose different layouts. It kind of gets rid there of the browser. Do you see that? Cool. And uh, kind of up here now, Windows, um, and w if you go to Workspaces, you can actually now create uh, your own different workspaces, change the windows around, and save those right here in Save Workplace As. Okay, so those are the basic changes. Same as before. Let me summarize again. The buttons are the same. They have just moved. Don't freak out. Here's the import button. Here's the keyboard button. Here shows you the background tasks. What's cooking in the background? They've moved slow mo to here. Right, guys? Let me go back to the original uh, type of. Um, Thing there they have uh, moved slow mo to right here right guys slow mo is here now Harry Potter button that's for the color board right there transforming cropping is right there they've added one new button the override button shortcut is D right another new button here used to be hidden down there allows you to change the size of the clips and then finally effects just click once to close click once to open you're there the share, very important share, upper right hand corner, the last thing you're going to be doing. Turn the inspector on and off, scroll the inspector all the way down, and change the workspace right up there. Okay, folks? Uh, so everything else is the same. We're all good. And um, hope to see you at one of our Final Cut Pro workshops here in Los Angeles, or uh, soon we'll be returning back to New York City. Okay? Have a great day. It's Aaron Rainin from dvworkshops.com. Cheers.